All right, I'm back. Got the uh, the right screwdriver here with a good tip that fit these screws and got them at least broke loose so that I can take the gearbox off and take and put the bullet cover back in position for a second so I can get the uh, oscillator link there taken loose will be necessary here taking tip the fan forward a little bit there like that get the screwdriver in there and watch the blade walk right off the screw okay there we go. this should come off relatively easy fan starts to get real floppy once you start getting it disassembled to this point so that's why you do all the stuff that might require now the bullet back cover comes off and can be moved out of the way let's put these in here okay need to Loosen that back up and re-level the motor assembly and leave it that way while we're working on everything here. At this point, the gearbox can come off. We don't need it. It's going to be in the way now. I mean, of course, I'm doing this one handed, but it makes it a lot easier when you the fan is a little bit more stable. There's the gearbox, it'll have to be taken apart and cleaned. I don't think I'll have that sandblasted at all, I'll just have to clean, take it apart, and clean it up. But on this fan, it's hidden behind that cover, it's not an actual finished back of the motor you see if this fan was a um, one of the earlier fans made before 39 that didn't have a bullet cover on it this was the actual back of the fan that you saw and they revised the castings a little bit and added this um, ridge right here where the bullet cover goes up to so now we're ready to remove this um, bushing plate here. And this is the screw that we couldn't get to with the gearbox in place. And I'll have to use my makeshift tripod here to hold the camera. You won't get to see me unscrewing these screws, but believe me, that's what I'm doing is and the way this is made, this has got a, 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 a slot here. So you just loosen this screw and then you remove that one. They're very nicely made little screws, too. There's a nice blue finish on that one still. We're going to go ahead and remove the other screw, though. You see what I mean? It's slotted. There's a lot of gunk on there. So this is in the Emerson ads, the advertisement where you can, you can pull this out, and these are the taped connections where you could solder on a new head wire without taking the fan apart. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that there. So there's our old head wire that was still good. I'm going to set the camera down so I can use both hands.
I just sort of twist and pull, but there's the bushing plate back off, and then there's the connections going into the motor. Don't pull. That's There's a space there where those are folded up inside, but don't pull on it now. Here is the drive shaft for the worm and the worm screw that runs the oscillator. And then there's a nut right here that is a backwards thread that we're going to want to remove. It's, um, I believe it's 7 sixteenths. I don't have a 7 sixteenths. Yeah, it is 7 sixteenths. what you know it all I have at hand close by is uh, 3 8 and half inch <laughs> as I said I just sort of started doing this there's also a set of shim washers there but that will need to come off like I said it's left handed thread so it's going to come off um, this way okay And then what we'll do is we'll get that all disassembled as much as we can. And then we'll loosen these two screws here and this whole assembly will lift right up. And then we can do the old um, Emerson pipe trick. And I use a piece of PVC pipe to do that. And that is you take and you um, uh, put a piece of PVC pipe over this and then you hold it down and you wrap it a few times on the tabletop and the whole stator comes right out and if it doesn't come out that easy then you put this in the freezer for an hour or two then you take it out and then it will come out super easy on the first try sound good okay Um, I don't want to use my universal wrench there. Don't want to get it dirty. Oh, I hit it. Okay. This really was close at hand. I didn't look very carefully, did I? That's how I don't plan this out, do can't you? Obviously, it would be a lot nicer if I'd used the. 7 sixteenths nut driver, but I forgot to grab one before starting the filming here. Look at all the crap coming off of that with that. It's amazing how well these things are uh, all sealed up or protected from the outside world. This sealed design they use. Beautiful machining on these parts, too. Okay. And then the handle. I'll loosen the handle screws off after I get the stator apart. And then these rivets will punch them out from the inside and take the tag off. So we're ready to remove the screws in the ball joint here. Let me get a better purchase on this. Don't want to mar these. We're going to go ahead and remove them entirely. And there's one on each side. When they switch to the aluminum base, they cheapened up, and there's just one of these screws. But on this older fan with the cast iron construction, there's two. Okay, make sure that's snug. 
So all you should have to do if you just wanted to pull that off, you just have to back those out a little bit. Uh, we're taking this apart, so I'm removing them entirely. And now, this just lifts right off like that. And there's some shim washers there. So let's set that aside. We'll disassemble the base separately. But let's finish disassembling the motor first. Put those in the parts cup. Now we need the uh, the piece of PVC pipe and uh, we'll be ready to try to take the uh, the stator out. So we'll be back. <laughs> 